Gary, I don't what? know if you've noticed, but the old temperature in the room, mm-hmm. it's just a little cool. <laughs> and mainly between the big former ruckman for the Western Bulldogs, mm. All-Australian, yep. and the big former full forward from Hawthorne, no, All-Australian. Mm. Well, Jim, when you barrack for the Demons and the, they start, the mudslinging starts, yep. sadly you just got to buy out because you know it's going to come back and you've got no bullets. <laughs> but Duke thought he had a couple in the chamber. And he thought he'd load them up and yep. maybe just buzz one over the top of the cheese. Landed, yep. landed a couple. Of melon, it. Uh, melon. The chief pulled out his Gatlin gun <laughs> and just ripped, out his ripped, just ripped Duke at the knees and and sliced him in half. In, so in, much so, against. he emptied oh, no. about 15 <laughs> barrels into him. And then the old Duke oh, got his mate. pop gun out and tried oh, to pop one back. And can I have a note? I had my back to him at the time, which is a chief oh, style, please. cowardly it, effort it at best. On the back of purple, yep. the fact that uh, James Fantasia <laughs> doing the best work at uh, the Western Bulldogs as the uh, head of footy. Yep. Uh, Hawthorne, of course, in pursuit of a head of footy, and then just Ordinary decided effort. to just... reef him out of there. <laughs> in <laughs> round, round three? three. <laughs> hey, come and work for us. <laughs> Leave him bereft of a footy you manager. You are the... <laughs> full of double standards, Chief. If this was uh, Shoe on the other foot, you would be uh, talking about it. In fact, I think your coach champions this cause about uh, not touching uh, football departments mid-season, <laughs> Ooh, uh, making it? sure that uh, perhaps uh, is that, that is uh, uh, something uh, that is untoward. And, uh, Duke's uh, reloading with his yeah, gun. <laughs> <laughs> just, just gone under the table for yeah, some yeah, machete. Yeah, do you feel Say like it, there's some double standards, Chief, in knocking someone off uh, rounds three into a season? Not at all, Duke. I mean, look, we're all very aware that uh, Mark Evans moved on to a fantastic position within the AFL, which left us needing a GM of football. Um, we went through a, a recruitment company to provide us with Don't give us a that. list You didn't do a recruitment company. You chose James Hello? Fantasia. Hello? No, nothing it? happens in Morris. that footy department Morris. without Morris. you Morris. hand-picking let's people. Just, let's just leave the theatre aside. There's no oh. theatre. There was a recruitment company that provided oh, yeah, us yeah, with yeah, a short yeah. list and, oh. and it yielded us the resulting appointment of James Fantasia, who we're thrilled to have. Warriors, Warriors pulled out his derringer. <laughs> Yeah, out of his garden, Chief, so. if that recruitment company came back with someone you didn't like, what would you do with that decision? We would have told them not satisfied because we weren't prepared to actually make the appointment until we felt like we had uh, the person we wanted. Who so was on the short list, Chief? No, would not make any comments about that because that's unfair to the other people. So do you feel at all sorry for the Western Bulldogs now being without a footy manager, <laughs> yeah. Chief, for round three? Uh, let's be really honest, Jim. Clubs change coaches, CEOs change mm. coaches. So mm. why should we raise mm. an eyebrow because the so GM of football? It's a timing change. issue, uh, and Chief. I think is what we're taking exception mate, to here. Is it? Sometimes you've got to seize the opportunity when it presents itself to you. Rated a small club, corporate bullying. Just re- I just, just, I, I'm a master of reading between the lines. Yes. Yep. So <laughs> when the when Chief says, sometimes you just got to grab your opportunity. It, what does that mean? Just grab whoever you want. That's who he's saying. That's and hey, yeah. Chief, I'm with you, mate. Oh, I'm with you. Oh, come on, Jerry. So you've got to have a ruthless streak in this. Mate, you can call it whatever you like, but we're thrilled with the appointment and, and look forward to what he's going to bring no, to, I, he, to he the Hawthorne Football Club. No problem with that, Chief. I'm just asking you because, you you know, that style of unit, whether you have any feelings for the Western Bulldogs. Mm. Jim, and, my, my concern is the welfare of the Hawthorne Football right. Club. So, so no, 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 no is the answer, no, no, Chief? No, the short answer, no. Not my concern I'll, is the I'll welfare tell you of the Hawthorne Football Club. I'll interpret, Chief, so you can answer and I'll tell you. Not at all. <laughs> Not a second thought. And what, if you were to take that a step further, ask the chief, and then I'll tell you answer, and then I'll tell you chief, what he do you means. Do you have concern for anything apart from yourself? <laughs> is that a fair? Mate, it's the industry we're working. We're all. Jim does the same it thing. Is, Every no, decision he makes is in is in yes, the, the, the no, well being no. and the benefit of the North Melbourne football. People club. operate in this industry with a bigger feel for the game and a bigger picture yep. and, a, and a sense of integrity and and, <laughs> and, and that How can is you bereft talk about of, uh, all those of, of the things. way you operate. Seriously. Chief is what he's going to do is get his 2008 right. Premiership Cup, which is at home in his house. <laughs> cause he's and it up, should be, too. And he's going to squeeze it on your head, Darcy, <laughs> and go, this is what I care I about. Know. And I'm going to cop uh, that about, that's about it. All right, in all seriousness, Duke, is there anyone within at uh, the Western Bulldogs who can step into that role, or are you going to have to do the similar uh, recruitment I think process? Well, they have done in the recent years, and I'm not uh, privy to it, Jim, because I'm not there every day, but uh, Jason McCartney uh, is uh, a role that they have uh, appointed recently, and they've had two other uh, appointments in the same uh, area of the football department that will uh, handle it in the short term, but it has left them, left them in round three. But you wouldn't take anyone th- from another club now, would you? Not during the season. If Duke, I had anything to do with it, Duke, Duke, if I said to you, Duke, who's the best? Uh, it's the same Neil Barham. 
So if Neil Baum just wanted, I wouldn't mind getting back to uh, closer to Melbourne. I probably would be open to a, an approach. You do could say, I'm sorry, Neil. Out of a sense of fairness, uh, we'll do it at the end of the season. My yeah. dignity would prevent me from going down that path. Yeah. Is that what you're telling me, Duke? That's what I'm telling you right now. You're Gary. lying, Duke. You. But at that point, given that he's not an office holder, Duke would then get on the phone to whoever was at the dogs and said, get Neil Brown <laughs> within a minute. Will you ben, ben Graham a chance, by the way? Now, ben Graham is one of those roles that yeah. uh, escaped me. He's there, and uh, yeah, I think he's looking at more full-time roles in football. He'd be a very capable operator, but you did the same thing when yes. you were uh, looking for a coach in your no, uh, role yes. at Melbourne, and uh, there were people who were within contract. Ross <laughs> Lyon was one that you decided that you would not approach because of a sense of integrity for the game. Other people, Please. Fremantle Dockers, who we... Uh, he approached everybody that he could. <laughs> was a bit of a head everybody. shake going over there. No, I tell you what happened with You're Ross You're on Lyon. record as saying that you... Hey, I said to our great friend who manages Ross Lyon... Your we great friend. are very, very keen to speak to him, and he, in his conversations with the great Ross Lyon, said, yes, yes, well, okay, okay, okay. Turn around and said, no, he's signed with St Kilda. He's about to sign, re-sign. And then what happened? And then that same night, he signed with the Dockers. <laughs> so it's a bit hard to talk to the coach when his manager is telling you that he's already signed with another club. So fair to say, he didn't know what was going on. Well, anyway, my uh, interpretation of the last six minutes, Damo, is... Uh, a little win for me, Jim. The Duke's <laughs> of the opinion that the, uh, the Chief fleeced the Dogs... And the Chiefs have the opinion that he fleeces whoever he wants because he doesn't give us stuff. That's how big we are. Very cool.